After crashing a stolen car, officers say three teens jumped out and tried to run away from police before being caught. During the high-speed chase, one of the teens opened fire, shooting the pursuing officer's squad car. Luckily, that officer wasn't hurt, but police overnight insist the reckless behavior was a danger to the entire community. If individuals will fire shots at police officers, uh, they will they will fire you know shots at anyone. According to the police report, the 17-year-old suspect is now facing a possible charge of attempted murder. Two 16-year-olds are accused of theft and resisting law enforcement. The violence comes at a time when IMPD officers already feel unsafe on the job. This isn't a sudden, unexpected thing, right? This has been building up, building up, building up. Exactly two weeks ago, another high-speed chase came to a deadly end near 62nd in Michigan when an IMPD officer shot and killed Drajon Reed. That shooting sparked protests around the city and calls to reform the police department. It also led to more than two dozen threats against IMPD officers. You know, silence in the face of violence begets more violence. That's what we saw last night. FOP President Rick Snyder wants community leaders who spoke out following the deadly police shooting to also say threats of violence against police won't be tolerated. Hey, we've watched our elected politicians trip over themselves to get in front of a ca camera to condemn the police and talk about the need to reform the police as though things need to be fixed. I'm just simply asking, why can't you get in front of a camera and publicly condemn those who are advocating murder upon your employees and their families? Jesse Wells. Fox 59 News. Now, one of the teens had